Hi dear students, I welcome you all back to the session. So I hope you all are doing good. So in the last session we discussed on various techniques of testing in the black box testing and we discussed integration testing. So today's session we will discuss on system testing. So system testing is defined as the testing phase conducted on the completing of integration testing okay so once you complete your integration of all the modules and do the integration testing so then only you move on to the system testing okay so with this system integration testing so what you do is you evaluate the systems compilance with the specified requirements on functional and non-functional aspects so basically the system testing is done after the unit component and integration testing phases so testing uh, system testing is the only phase of testing which tests the both functional and non functional aspects of the product so on the functional side the system testing focuses on the real life customer usage of the product and the solution so system testing simulates the customer deployments for general purpose products. The system testing also means that testing it for a different business verticals. So your application may be developed on insurance or it can be a banking application or it can be a asset management application. So on the non-functional side, system brings in a different testing types okay so that we will be discussing in the further concepts so now let us move on to the uh, quick video and see what is system testing watch it system testing is the testing of complete and fully integrated software product usually software is only one element of a larger computer-based system Ultimately, software is interfaced with other software and hardware systems. System testing is actually a series of different tests whose sole purpose is to exercise the full computer-based system. What do you verify in system testing? System testing involves testing the software code for the following. Testing the fully integrated applications, including external peripherals, in order to check how components interact with one another and with the system as a whole. This is also called end-to-end -end scenario testing. Verify through testing of every input in the application to check for desired outputs. And testing of the user's experience with the application. Types of system testing? There are more than 50 types of system testing. A few types of system testing a large software development company would typically use are usability testing, stress testing, regression testing, and functional testing. What types of system testing should testers use? There are over 50 different types of system testing. The specific types used by a tester depend on several variables. Those variables include who the tester works for. This is a major factor in determining the types of system testing a tester will use. Methods used by large companies are different than those used by medium and small companies. Time available for testing. Ultimately, all 50 testing types could be used. Time is often what limits us to using only the types that are most relevant for the software project resources available to the tester. Of course, some testers will not have necessary resources to conduct a testing type. For example, if you are a tester working for a large software development firm, you are likely to have expensive automated testing software not available to others. Software Testers Education There is a certain learning curve for each type of software testing available. To use some of the software involved, a tester has to learn how to use it. And testing budget. Money becomes a factor not just for smaller companies and individual software developers, but large companies as well. 
That's all to system testing. So I hope you all have understood what is system testing now. So in the next session we will learn what is system testing on the non-functional side. Thank you students.